Ontario's health minister was in Thunder Bay today confirming $45 million to connect people from the north to specialized health care services. Sylvia Jones, who's also the deputy premier, made the announcement to expand the Northern Health Travel Grant program. Basile Spells was with the minister today, and Basile, does that mean people from the region will now be better compensated when traveling for health care? Yes, Riley, there's actually a few expansions to the program, including $75 more a night for accommodations. It also more than doubles the hotel allowance when spending eight or more nights away. The $45 million investment is part of Ontario's 2024 budget and spread out over three years. Making health care for Northern Ontarians more accessible. More people in Northern Ontario can connect to the specialized care they need when they need it. Ontario's Health Minister and Deputy Premier Sylvia Jones was at Thunder Bay Regional confirming $45 million over three years to expand the Northern Health Travel Grant program. It's part of Ontario's 2024 budget. The program covers some of the costs for those in Northern Ontario accessing OHIP insured health services not available within 100 kilometres of their home. That could involve patients from the region coming to Thunder Bay Regional or anyone from the north needing to travel to Southern Ontario. Some of our patients have to travel to access care and this can be a daunting experience. Patient Family Advisor at Thunder Bay Regional Paul Carr says he sees the challenges travel can bring firsthand calling the grant program crucial. For some, it may be the first time they've ever traveled to an urban center. And of course, it can be expensive. This can be a deterrent to accessing care, as well as an added burden um, during a very stressful time for both patients and families. The expansion to the program sees the initial accommodation allowance per night increase from $100 to $175, and allowance for eight or more nights from $550 to $1,150. The travel distance requirement to be eligible for overnight accommodation has also been decreased from 200 to 100 kilometers. Minister Jones says while the program is currently necessary, the province recognizes improving health services in the north would limit travel altogether. MRI machines are being placed in hospitals that have never had access to an MRI machine. Uh, similar conversations and announcements are being made with CT scanners. So we want to make sure that as much as possible, we have the access locally for people. The province will begin implementing the expansions in the fall. Vasilios Bellos, TBT News.